Hello everybody, welcome to the replay cast of a very crucial Group E Round 3 match. Um, this was a thriller, honestly, uh, this whole group. We've got Jay Leave with All World Alliance up against Pybot with Lizardmen. Pybot won the toss, chose to kick. I can show you the table here. So this was the table before Strider versus Tree. So anything can happen here, really. Depending on what happens, Pybot has to win. Pybot really has to win and has to probably score three touchdowns. Maybe two will be enough for him, but probably three he's going to have to score. Jay Leave has to win and match misspelled trees winning score um it's tough but basically jay lee's looking to win a draw could be enough for him um and honestly even a loss could be good for him, good enough for him depending on how the scores go right as long as he matches misspelled trees result he will qualify because he has plus one touchdown difference to tree so if he can match trees result he will qualify um but yeah, it, it's really weird because obviously Strider's just at least trying to draw, so he tops the group. Tree's trying to win, but a draw could be good enough. And Jay Lee's trying to win, but a draw could be good enough. And Pybot has to win heavy. He has to he has to score three touchdowns. Basically, he has to win 3-0 to even really have a shot. Technically, he could win 2-0 and hope that Tree won 1-0 or something. So, uh, actually, no, if Tree lost and didn't score... And uh, three, and then if Jay Leave lost two one, so there's a, there's a chance that two one win is good enough for Pybot. So there you go. Now. I've probably lost anybody who was interested in watching this match already, but this was played at the same time as Jay Leave. Uh, Jay Leave versus Pybot was played at the same time as Strider versus Tree. So they could have been keeping an eye on the other person's game. I certainly would be. I, you know, they were both streaming this live. So if I was involved in this, I would absolutely be checking on the other game while I was playing. Um, but yeah, let, let's let's see what happens. Uh, before we go, clear is about. Yeah, I know it's it's tough. It's tough. I know it's tough. But um, let's just say if there are implications. Jay Lee's American, qualified through the totally relaxed Blood Bowl League, and uh, Pybot is Irish and qualified through Era BB. So yeah, let's just watch the game. Maybe just watching the game was better than giving any introduction at all. And oh my goodness, the Lizard Men start with a blitz. Um, so that's very good. Obviously, Lizards are a big favourite versus All World Alliance because All World Alliance aren't very good. A lot of people were, you know, seem to think that Pybot, you know, write off Pybot for this game because he lost his first two. But he had lost his first two versus Wood Elves, which are a pretty bad matchup for Lizards, especially when you're not an absolute expert at protecting the ball from strip ball war dancers with strength two players, which is not easy, just quietly. That's not an easy thing to do. So, uh, there we go. That, that was an okay blitz, wasn't it? You know, getting strength four dudes in contact is uh, bad times for the opposing team. Tackle was over this side, so just push the skink down there. Don't has failed. 1D gets the 2D on the second hit. It's a huge stun. That helps. Critical pickup in the rain. That's not critical, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's well worth it. That's well worth it. Oh, fails a dodge. Is KO'd but uses the apple instantly on a lineman. Um, that's fair enough, right? Because it's turn one of the drive. Offense pretty hard versus lizard men. Keep a player in. Lost instantly. Seems kind of reasonable. Oh yeah, oh my god. So it's six block lizards, which is completely standard and obviously pretty terrible for all other alliance dudes who don't have block in general. And uh, for Jay Leave, he's taken a couple of guards, a mighty blow. Another guard, a tackle for the blitzer, block for the catcher, block for the thrower, block for the ogre, and a wrestle lineman. So I, I can see the appeal of getting lots and lots of skills for All World Alliance, 
But the problem is, um, all the lions, you know, are, are a bad team underneath all of the skills. So they get more money and they get more skills to, like, you know, try and balance it. But they are ultimately not good football team. <laughs> Two dice. It doesn't knock him down. That gives us an eye cage to protect the ball. Oh, no. We try and make a full cage. Oh, he's, he had this. This guy was freak. was an uphill wasn't it wow we're instant i mean this is how bad this drive is right this is how rough the match is for jay lee that he's having to uphill on like turn two of the drive trying to block with a skink to set up a a saurus smash into the cage probably now Decided again, smashing the cage. I think I would have gone for this Garda, right? Blitz the Garda, because that, that gets this guy up into the general vicinity more. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. That could have got him up to there, right? Whereas now, you know, he's got to run around <laughs> and go deep. Problem with being like, problem now is he's got like, what, four players behind the ball? The problem that Jay Leave has is though that, you know, he's got everybody here. Yeah, okay, this is good. This is a good. Uh, I wouldn't have based, I would have just gone here. But yeah, this is this is tricky. Okay, we're relying on Dauntless to hit the crocs. Gets him. Gets the ogre. Moving up. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? If he blitzed this guy, then as I say, that you would have had like another Saurus there and this would have been completely shut down. He's getting the dice to, the, to save things here for the moment, uh, Jay Lee, but do you shoot a play, guys? Actually, this is a this is a great guard, isn't it? This is a great guard. What he could do is this skink could come in and dodge there, and then you can block this guy to here or here, and uh, blitz and smash him. So I'd be tempted with that. I'd be very tempted. What oh, is tackle though? <laughs> so that's pretty. I mean, that's pretty good from Jelly, right? He's got the tackle guarding that and. Pybot has got three rerolls. Oh, so Pybot has gone for the only 11 players build. So he does have three rerolls. So, and the fact that, you know, Pybot has to score a bunch of touchdowns, right? He's got to at least score. He's got to basically at least win 2-0. So, um, the problem with chaining the crocs on the ball is that he can't blitz as well, right? So I prefer making the dodge in to chain out the ball so you can just hit the ball. But, uh, yeah, croxing. Chaining the crocs on the ball is fine. But I quite like this pushing out. He has to be quite aggressive. Like he doesn't have to be super aggressive. But he has to be at least at least somewhat aggressive, right? He has to turn over and score. S stopping this score isn't really good enough, right? He has to turn over score here. So he has to be pretty aggressive, to my mind. So that's the thing, the, the context of the game matters, right? If I'm Pybot here, I'm trying to turn him over on this defensive drive, not just force him in early or stop him from scoring altogether. Because a 1 0 win will be very unlikely to qualify. 1-0 win almost certainly doesn't qualify Ibot. It has to be basically a 2-0 win or better. 2-0 is realistically what you aim for here.
It is turn four on our fair line, but there's the chance of like, you know, there's a chance of like potatoes and stuff and like, he could have just got in front, you know, he could have just got in front of the ball. He hasn't really got in front of the ball, all of his Saurus are behind the ball, which isn't good. And now Jay Leaf has a full cage with uh, all the Saurus up behind the ball, in fact. Every oh no, there's one Saurus in front of the ball. So yeah, not great. Not great for Pybot. But that's a nice chain. To free a Saurus. Yeah, it's not it's not looking great, is it? It's not looking great for Pybot. I think I think you know he was trying to be aggressive earlier. And that's why like, that's why he went behind the ball, but it's really risky to go behind the ball. If you just stay in front. <laughs> I know it sounds obvious, but do you know what I mean? Like that's that is like how you can get space cadetted, right? When when you like go for a ball sack and stuff and then you end up players behind the ball and they just walk away, right? Like we saw it in uh in one of the games yesterday. Um somebody like used rerolls to tag the ball with their tackler, but then their tackler got blitzed and left miles behind the ball. This is all well alliance, yeah. Yeah. Uphilling the crocs. Flip me, one of the few block players. And this lets him move the uh, sleigh around. And in to make the ogre hit. Nice play from Jay Leave, to be fair. Has to reroll this, I think. Does and fails. Instant snakes. I mean, he's open to a blitz, but there's no like, there's no way Saurus can get there realistically, right? Oh, Kaz. Maybe the play was to block with this guy, right, to free this one. That would have been a one D because the guard. And then you could have had a free Saurus, and then just uphill without block, and hope to double power him. <laughs> or. Uh... This guy could dodge off, and this guy could dodge off, and then you could 1D him and hope to power him. And then you could run through and 2D the ball. Or you can just go for a skink hit on the ball, right? He's got a skink free here. He's got a Saurus. So he can he can get a he can actually get a skink hit on the ball pretty easily. Yeah, he's actually he's actually got a pretty easy skink hit on the ball. You're probably better off rushing with this guy, right, rather than dodging a skink. Just to make sure you've got him based by a strength 4 dude, if it all goes wrong. Ooh, I would not have risked the, uh... Wait, Oh, The reason he risked the Crocs hit was because couldn't see this guy. <laughs> so that the reason he risked the Crocs hit was because the Crocs hit is better than the dodge, right? Because, okay, you might want to nine the Crocs hit, but, you know... That's just the same as doing the dodge. And you do get loner on it, so it is just strictly better. The crocs it is strictly better than the skink dodge. So I, I I thought this was a free skink move. And then he, he would I guess he'd have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then make square hitting him. So yep, yeah, not a lot he could have done done there, to be fair, Pybot. And unfortunate to uh Bonehead, because now he gets this blitz. So that's I guess failure state is one reason why it wasn't strictly better to try the crocs block. You, for your ball sack percentage chance, it was better to activate the crocs. But failure state wise, it wasn't. Because now that was easier to deal with that Saurus. Interesting. Subtly interesting. Hello, J Leave. Hello, J Leave viewers. Please, no spoilers. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. So yeah, this is disastrous for for Pybot now. Um, 
now Pybot is going to have to try to win 3-1. <laughs> Which is not easy at all, is it? Because, he, I mean, you're not stopping the score now. Well, maybe. You can, make, you can base him, can't you, with a skink? Saurus, so the Saurus could base him. And then this skin could get in front. Yeah, this skin could get in front, right? Lovely. Lovely, lovely play there by Pilot C. He probably got to, um... <laughs> Shut up, Alp. Norse pilots. Oh, so he gets the assist in. And, uh, and yeah, has to score. Oh, the little touchdown dance. Dimmy would be proud. But he is on turn seven. So that leaves a two turn for Pybot. Wow, there's going to be a lot of touchdowns in the second half then. So, obviously for Jay Leave, that means only one reel for Pybot. There's a good chance of getting into this at 1-0 up and then maybe getting the squeak the draw. Squeak the draw and hope three losers is a decent strat. Or draws, actually. Oh, wow. So it changes from rain and he gets a touchback. A glorious little... Uh, <laughs> a glorious little kickoff result there. And now he gets to run right forward. <laughs> Very animated, I can imagine. <laughs> and then the skinks can finish off the cage in front. Tag out the ogre, yeah. Makes both. Do you, I think you dodge there, right? To try and conserve rerolls. Because you've only got one reroll. So I, I, I guess I would try to dodge once or twice. Even if it's, you know, mathematically incorrect. <laughs> in terms of getting the cage. Because there's no point in getting the cage if, like, you know, it gets assaulted and you can't score. But maybe this is hard to assault the cage. It goes for the halfling blitz. Reroll. Ah, oh, dice. Wow. That's pretty fun. Puts guard on him and guard on both of those. I quite like going for the hit on the ball, right? Like, I mean, this is just what two dodges, isn't it? If uh, you know, that's like the brainless play, right? Is two dodges. So obviously, Highbot will try and find something better. Oh, he can just blitz this, can't he? Yeah. Oof, rush. And then blocks him with him. To chain him away. And then if he, if, even if he hadn't powered, he could have punched him again. Lovely jubbly. Nice turn from Fibre. So it's 1-1. One, one. So, again, 
if I was playing this game on uh, either side of it, I would be switching to the other person's stream to see what was happening. Hello, Dimmy. But let's pretend that we're completely in the dark about what's happening. Um, with a 1-1 draw, again, so Jay Leave Jay Lee's in a weird position where he just has to beat Tree's result. Or equal, equal, he has to equal Tree's result. Um, but he's looking at 2-1 loss at the moment, right? Because it's Pybot's drive. But Pybot winning 2-1 is not good enough because then Jay Lee will have scored one. So now Pybot has to win 3-1. And if Pybot wins 3-1, then he scored four touchdowns and he's actually got a pretty decent chance of, uh, of qualifying if Tree has lost even 2-1. So yeah, so whatever happens, um, Pybot has to score two touchdowns this half. 2-1 will definitely not be good enough for him. He has to score two. Pulling up streams is not against the rules. I would absolutely be watching the other person's stream. 100% I would be checking in to see what's happening. <laughs> One million percent. <laughs> it's not in the rules pack. <laughs> There's literally no rules on how you can, uh, <laughs> on when you have to play. It's straight up in the rules. <laughs> well, there's literally no way on earth to enforce it. So that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You could just play later and know. Yeah, I guess it's to like try. Are you sure it's any game, not your opponent, right? Illegal to watch your opponent's game in stream, maybe, but not any other group game. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, screenshot and send it to me, please. <laughs> you could also have a friend who has the client open and just tell you, which I've also done. <laughs> just quietly. Just quietly. I have also had friends watch a game for me on Cabal Vision and tell me what the result is. There's no rules against that, is there? Right, so... But, so anyway, so even if it's against the rules, that's what they should both be doing anyway, right? <laughs> Well, yes, not a lead, you know, you know what we mean, Hell, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, wow, doesn't get the knockdown. Just bez forward here with the skinks, right? Like, oh, no. So, like, obviously you want to score. You don't want to not score. But I feel like it's worth just bezzing forward with the skinks and, and try and score as quick as possible. Like, has to get... You have to get three touchdowns. So I just want to score as quick as possible. Yeah, give myself more chance. I don't like feel the need to like you know pressure Jay Lee with like he's got four turns to score or anything. I think just bang it in in, in two or three as fast as you can. Okay, well he's failed that dice roll, so now you can absolutely bang it in in four. Like this is still quite a slow score, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Niaga, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, they are not allowed to open streams during the match. So what I would do then is... Wait. Hmm. I mean, that's a very... That means you can't watch a stream of like... Uh, you can't watch like a ninja stream while you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> that seems a very weird... Or, like, you can't watch Netflix while you're playing your match? That seems a very uh, loose rule. I think what they mean is a stream of your game is what you're not allowed to open, is what I think they mean. But, um, yes, so in that case, I, I would not open a stream. What I would do is get one of my very good friends who owns Blood Bowl 3 to screen share the game on Discord. 
Okay, that's what I'd do. There you go. That's what I'd do. 100%. I ain't sorry. Like, you know, you need to know what's happening, right? <laughs> the rule is definitely meant to be watching what the other person's thinking and stuff like that. Your opponent, right? It's, it's while your match is on. It's obviously the intent is to stop people, you know, like, you know, Strider watching Tree's stream. The intent is not to watch, to stop Jay Lee watching Tree's stream. But anyway, it's quite easy to follow the rules laid out there and just have your friend stream the game so you know what the score is, yeah. Okay, so, has to score this turn, Pyro. I would have definitely, as I say, I would have pushed forward a lot further previous turns. Now it's turn 12, even though it's a double rush, I still think you almost have to score this. I mean, I guess you don't, I, I don't know, it's hard, man. With only two rerolls, double rushes seem horrible. So you probably have to score on turn 13 now. You probably have to. But really should have scored earlier. Right. I mean, I'm sure it's meant for your game, not other games that are happening at the same time. But... Um, Regardless, you could definitely have a friend stream a different game over Discord, 100%. Yes, exactly, exactly, kind of, right? It's definitely meant for that and not so you don't know. Because other people have just, like, played at different times, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly, fair. Well, do you know, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, the, the spirit of the rule is definitely to stop people cheating during their own game not to know what's happening in another one. Especially as other people just played their games at different times, which could have happened as well, right? So yeah, Jay Lee's not even trying to stop the score here. Um, and Pyrot gets in on turn 13, which is slow. I think this would be... This would be okay if the only thing that mattered was the... <laughs> Like it's good it's good because Jay Leave does need to draw two two, right? Potentially. Potentially Jay Leave is gonna try the score. So this is gonna make him more likely to get the third, maybe. So like maybe it's good. But I think seeing as I have to get that touchdown and I know that I have to get that touchdown, I want to give myself more time to get it. So yeah, I I do think I would have scored earlier here. Uh you know, try to score an eleven. Just to give myself as much time as possible. There we go. Pybot gets in. We've got three turns. So now, 2-1 for Jay Leave. This will be good enough for Jay Leave if Miss Tree loses 2-1. Um, but if Miss Tree loses 3-2, <laughs> then it won't be good enough. Uh, or if Miss Tree draws 2-2 or 1-1 or anything. So Jay Leave definitely wants to try to get a touchdown here and draw 2-2. To give him the best chance. Goodbye, Ella. And yeah, Pybot getting a third touchdown here will give him, self, maybe a bit of a shot despite losing his first two games. Depends how the other game goes. Or is going, or has gone, depending on <laughs> how he thought at the time and whether you've seen the other game that's already <laughs> been casted. <laughs> but, you know. The big play for here, for Jay Leave, is handing off to the catcher at some point, right? In potato. And that's Jay Leave's big, big play that he has. So with that in mind, maybe the tackler had to be one forward to protect him. But then you want the tackler free to hit skinks, don't you? So it's tough. Oh wow. Well the skink will find you, so it's alright. 
at this point you just yeah you just hit the skin because you know it's better than not hitting the skin. <laughs> Stunosaurus as well. I think I would have gone for it this turn, honestly. The skinks are behind you, right? A little bit. So, I honestly wouldn't have hated the uh, handoff or just an assist into a block there and then handoff to the catcher. The catcher blitzes this guy, right, with guard. Runs up. I wouldn't have actually hated it. But, I mean, I'm not an all-world alliance player at the end of the day um, <laughs> because I wouldn't want to have to do all these horrible rubbish plays because your team's rubbish <laughs> but you know if I was that's how I'd be thinking <laughs> brawler didn't really do anything did it but he, he used it anyway <laughs> <laughs> and now we should get a two dice at the ball, eh? Oh, it's a team reroll. Ah, okay. Yep, here we go. Gets the push. That's good. Skink. There's no skink free. The one that's the skink that could be free. No, there's no skink free. It's an annoying lack of free skinks. Obviously, you have to just blitz this guy anyway. Gets the full power to there and follow. No, follow! Follow! How do you not follow? Misclick. It could be a misclick. It could also let me panic as well, you know, as Pyrot said, he aged five years and stuff. And, uh, oh, dodging away from tackle here, but makes it. Oh, I have to eat that, I think. Keep your last re roll. Um, nice scatter. Like, that's the problem is, like, this time bank as well, right? They could be out of time bank at this point. They could run, be running out of time on any of these turns. The stress is unbelievable. Um, and I know after playing a game of my own that I had to win. It's very, very stressful. So I understand people making suboptimal decisions and panicking, etc., etc., etc. Also, <laughs> also what happens is... Um, things can be hidden behind the crocs and stuff, right? And the ogre and things like that, so... Okay, the catcher's got the ball with blotch. There's really just one skink in range. Oh no, this one is in range, isn't it, just? Yeah. But just, right? It would have to get, like, past two in the end zone. So it's looking like a Saurus dodge. Makes the dodge. Gets the pow. I think this was trying to make it three dice, right? But didn't make any difference. Oh my god! He was a 3-2-2 away from the 3-1 win. Flip me. Flip me. That is crazy. That is crazy. What a match. And this is turn 16. Oh, Jelly's trying the uh, Ogre toss right on the last turn. Really, really low odds, but he was trying it to try to get a 2 2. And he does not get the 2 2. He does, in fact, lose 2 1. And, uh, right, let me, let me have a look at Group E. Oh, it has updated. It has updated on Nuffle XYZ. So, bear with me, I can, I can show you 
what it is. Sorry for the horrible sound effects there. Um, so there you go. Anyway, if, you, if, you have, if you're watching this before the other game, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. If you're still here, this is what the group looks like now. Unbelievably, misspelled tree also lost 2-1. So J leave equal tree's result and somehow goes through after winning one and losing two games. <laughs> Uh, they all scored three touchdowns and <laughs> and Jay Leave conceded the least. That is wild, isn't it? What a wild group. And uh, yep, if if Pybot had got that touchdown, he would have qualified after losing his first two games. After getting spanked in his first two games, honestly, uh, versus the Lizards. He was re actually really close to qualifying there in the end. And it turns out if Tree had maybe just taken the draw and not scored early, you know, maybe the one turn, may I think the chance of Strider, you know, scoring the one turn was less than the chance of him scoring in three. But then scoring early did give Tree the chance to win 2-1. And so, you know, but I think he should have scored in two, honestly. I think Tree should have been more aggressive going for the win rather than scoring on turn uh, turn five. So, um, ah, there you go, Pybot. So if you'd just taken that draw, that, yeah, yeah, then you would have had four touchdowns. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the group of death for Strider. <laughs> it, was, it was more like a group of abuse, wasn't it? As, uh, as Strider just absolutely dominated everybody and strolled to victory. But, um, yeah, there you go. What a, uh, what a group. And, uh, yep, Tree goes out, Pybot goes out. Three people tied on three points. And, uh, you know, so massive congratulations to Strider there, of course, easing his way through. And for this match, congrats to the person who lost, <laughs> Jay Leave, and commiserations to the person who won, Pybot, and also the tree who lost versus Strider at the same time. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.